If you're using Pinterest as a marketing tool, you're probably enjoying the additional traffic you're getting for your business and promotions. But chances are, you're struggling with time management and looking for a way to automate your tasks to save you precious time that you could be spending on other areas of your business. Hi, I'm Suzanne Stoddard from Legitimate Affiliate Training, and I want to share with you two online tools you should be using that are both effective and safe to use. And if you enjoy my video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. So as you may have already seen, there are many cheap products out there claiming to be the answer to all your problems, but too many of them are promoting dangerous activities that could have your account taken down and banned. I'd like to show you an easy way to create professional looking pins, as well as a much safer way to automate your pins on Pinterest. So let's look at two tools. One is paid and one is free. And they are both approved by Pinterest and can help you grow your following as well as scale your business. The first I'd like to show you is Tailwind. This is a very popular tool that's been explicitly approved by Pinterest. So right away you know that it follows all of Pinterest terms and conditions. You can also use this with your Instagram account. Now this is a powerful tool with many features. This isn't a complete tutorial on Tailwind, it's just a summary of some of its best features, okay? Now this is a free trial account. I get 100 pins and or 30 Instagram posts before needing to upgrade. I can take as long as I need to do this. I'm focusing on my YouTube channel right now and I promised myself I wouldn't get this awesome tool until I started to focus on Pinterest. But the trial shows everything you'd get with a paid membership. So the first thing you want to do is get the Chrome extension. They also have an Android app and an iOS app. Now let's say you're browsing the internet and you find something that you like and that you want to share. In this case, I was looking for diabetic dessert recipes, simply because I'm diabetic and I'm always looking for a new recipe. And you're scrolling through and let's say you like something that you see, like this pumpkin pie ice cream or nice cream in this case, and might be great for Thanksgiving. So notice how when I scroll over these images, you'll see the little tailwind icon here. So I can choose to click this and select just one pin, or if I click on the icon that I've added with my extension, you'll see that it brings up all the images that were on that page, okay? So let's pick, oh, I don't know. Let's pick these five, okay? Hit go schedule and a pop-up comes up with all of those five pins. Now here I can choose what board I wanna put them on. So let's say I love food. That's just one of my boards. Okay, and it will automatically populate on all the pins or you can do them manually, it depends. This is just a great time saver. You can click if you want to share it with Facebook or Pinterest. And, uh, and then you can adjust and or redo the descriptions when you're on the platform. So let's click save for later. And they'll show up on our dashboard. So let's go back to that. I'll update it. And there we go. I have five drafts all ready to go. Now, if I wanted to type in more board names, uh, let's say I wanted to add them to gotta make this, okay? Or, oh, what's another one? Home, I don't know, they, they don't really go with my <laughs> boards, but just to show you that now you've suddenly tripled the amount of pins. So now we can schedule all the pins and we'll see them pop up in the schedule section. And see, I have from the first five, I now have 15. Now you can do this for Pinterest as well, right within the platform. So I looked for the same thing here, diabetic dessert recipes, and came up with lots of yummy looking recipes. Now again, you can either choose one particular one, see the little icon here, or if I click the icon, up top, it will pull up all of the pins 
that I saw on that page. So let's select one, two, three, four, five. Oh, sex in a pan. This is a good dessert. And we'll go schedule. And now you can see that they've selected those five in the pop-up. I can again pick whatever boards I want to put them on. Let's click a few right here. So I selected three boards. You could see where the three boards automatically populated in each pin. Okay, and let's schedule these. Uh, actually, let's save them for later in drafts because chances are you'll want to adjust the description. Let's update this. So we've got our 15 here in drafts. So now you can come in and make any changes that you want. All right, and once you've got them all changed, schedule the drafts. And there we go. Now we have a whole bunch of pins that we got from just clicking a couple of things. And what I really like about Tailwind is how the scheduling is so easy. They have a smart feature, which is very intuitive. They look at your account, at what you're normally pinning, and the times of day that your audience is looking at your pins. And they automatically set up a schedule for you with the proper times of day that are optimal for your pins. And so now I have all these pins put in there. Okay, I just automatically plugged everything in. If you decide you don't like the order they're in, you can hit shuffle. And everything changes around. Or you can simply drag and drop. Okay, that's another way you can do it. So this is how easy it is to come up with fresh content or repinning pins from Pinterest. I do want to point out something here though while I have your attention. It's about the new Pinterest algorithms. Now this is a website by a gal named Anastasia and she keeps this particular post updated with the newest Pinterest algorithm changes. Now we all know that repinning is great, but we have to be aware that there is a new algorithm change that will affect your business if all you do is repin. The most recent change is more about controlling your, how your home feed will look. It's no longer just about your search history, but also it will now also show video pins and pins in other formats. So that's something you may want to consider looking at. But this is the one I wanted to point out. The one that came out in June is their new recommendation of best practices, uh, which is to create fresh pins and fresh content, okay, to please their new algorithm. So make sure you're not just repinning, but that you're actually creating fresh content for your site, and that will keep Pinterest happy. Now, there's lots of other things here that uh, I won't go into into detail. There's a smart loop, and that's uh, where they automatically uh, repin your top performing posts or anything seasonal or evergreen. And this is really handy. Um, oh, and there's also tribes. Okay, you can find uh, tribes to join to be able to share your pins in their groups. Um, finding one is just a matter of, again, putting in your keyword and it'll bring up the different tribes. This is one that I found. And it tells you the rules of joining this tribe, the things that you can or can't do. And also it shows you how many tribe members are in there and all of their accounts. Okay, so it just goes to show you how large your reach can be by using this tribes format with tailwind. The last thing I wanted to point out is their insights. Um, this is great for a business. It gives you a lot of different stats and analytics. I don't have a lot right now because I'm not really using my account too much, but this is here and, and this is awesome. If you're focusing on Pinterest and really trying to grow your business, this is a great feature. I wanted to show you their pricing. 
if you decide to upgrade, it's uh, nine. It works out to nine ninety nine a month if you pay the annual fee. Okay, if you decide to just go month by month, it's fourteen ninety nine a month. Um, so you get a sixty dollar saving or the equivalent of four months free if you pay annually. So this is just an incredible price for everything that you get in this tool. The other tool I want to share with you is Canva. This is a free tool um, to quickly design any design graphics for social media or anything else you want to make. The platform is very easy to use and, and it'll make the newest entrepreneur look like a professional graphic designer. So this is what my account looks inside. I have the free account and I have been using this for years for so many different things. And what's nice is that they can give you the recommended size for lots of different images that you want to make without worrying about something being too big or too small for that platform. And there are many, many sizes in here. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, Let's click on Pinterest pin. Now it'll pull up a blank page that you can do whatever you want with. Okay, there are many, many templates you can choose from. So if you're not artistically inclined and you don't really know where to start, you can simply click on a picture. And when you hover over it, you can see how you can change any element any wording. You can do whatever you want with this thing. So it's easy to change and when you're done, it looks professional. Okay. Or you can start from scratch and there are, you can upload your own images into this. You can choose photos. There are about a million images in here and thousands of templates and lots of free icons. There's lots of different elements you can use. Okay, I use the shapes a lot. There's frames, there's stickers, there's charts, you name it, it's in here. You can add text. You just click on something and it'll show up and you can do whatever you want. There's lots of different fonts. You can change the color, the size, where it's placed, different effects. You can even add music and videos. I usually start with a plain background and build up from there. So let's say, let's remove these elements. So all you have to do is click on them, drag them right off the screen. And let's start with a background image. So you can start with something like that. You can add some text, either just your, your plain headings and subheadings, or you can pick something here that you might like. Okay, and when you click on it, again, you can change the font, you can change the size, you can do anything you want with this. And from there, there are also many effects that you can change. Okay, I can make my writing look completely different. If I wanted to change the background, there are lots of effects that you can use here as well. Slightly change the color. Okay, you can go to black and white or just grayscale. Lots of filters, lots of adjustments you can do with the colors and the contrast. Crop it however you want. Flip it over. You can even make it transparent. There's so much you can do with this tool and it's all free. This is just incredible, guys. So this is something I would highly recommend um, you use. It's not hard to learn. Uh, you just have to play with all the different things and you'll eventually figure out what suits your brand the best and you end up just reusing them over and over again. And look at this. You can publish your picture right to Pinterest. Okay, now the, the pricing, like I said, you can certainly stay free forever. If you do decide you want access to all those additional lovely images and videos and graphics, there is a plan for $12.99 a month if you pay annually or $16.99 a month if you pay, pay monthly. Now this is my Canadian price. It's less US, okay? The one thing that's nice with the pro membership is the background remover.
But I want to also show you that you can do this on your own. You don't need to pay that much a month if that's the only feature you're looking for. There is a free site online called remove.bg and it's as simple as dropping something onto the screen. So let's say I have this picture of myself on my desktop. So all I do, drop it on the screen. And there you go, it's removed the background. So now I have just my portrait that I can use as an overlay anywhere I want. So if I go back to what I've made in Canva, all I have to do is upload it. And there you go. So now you can overlay your image or any image that you want to use, as simple as that. And when you like what you've done, all you have to do is download it, and there you go. Now there are many other schedules and account managing services that range in the price from $24 and up. Um, the bulk of these are more sophisticated with a larger learning curve for beginners, and many are suited to agencies who have contracts with clients. But for a beginner who's trying to manage your own business with a couple of social media accounts, Tailwind and Canva are excellent options with a reasonable monthly cost. And most of all, these tools are safe. You're not at risk of doing something that will break Pinterest community guidelines or terms and conditions. These are honest tools that work, not something being pushed by an unscrupulous marketer just trying to make money with crappy products that aren't safe to use. I hope you enjoyed my video and found it to be valuable. If so, please click like and consider subscribing to my channel for more helpful information. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you'd like to learn the exact way I create my own successful online business, I'll leave a link for you below this video. So until next time, this is Suzanne Stoddart from Legitimate Affiliate Training, and I'll see you soon. Cheers!